What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, the video I want to do today is about um, car cleaning um, and how my particular car cleaning process has changed over the uh, year that I've owned the Hellcat. Um, you may be saying to yourselves, well actually depending on where you live in the country, you may be saying to yourself, what the hell are you talking about car cleaning? It's March, I don't even know what day it is, March 18th I think it is, and uh, you know, depending on where you're at, it could be in the 20s or 30s, I don't know. Um, but today, at least here in uh, Delaware, we're looking at, uh, you know, pretty much sunny, blue skies. Temperature's supposed to be like 50 degrees out today. Of course, it is a little windy, so right now it's still a little cold, so. Um, but basically, and let me back up a second, so uh, before I get into this too much, I am in no means a professional detailer. Um, up until owning the Hellcat, I really didn't even care about cleaning the car, cleaning my cars myself. Um, you know, I would go through uh, either touchless car washes or the soft touch car, car washes. Um, but since getting this car, I, I definitely took a, a bigger interest in, in taking care of it myself. And as such, I follow a bunch of, um, you know, professional detailing guys on YouTube. So everything I've learned has been from watching videos from those guys and reading stuff online. Um, so when I got the car, um, you know, first thing I did was went out and bought myself a power washer and a foam cannon. And, uh, you know, I was trying to uh, do the touchless wash. Um, you know, I felt like if I'm washing the car two or three times a week, which in the summertime, I literally was washing the car two or three times a week. Um, you know, a touchless car wash uh, using the foam cannon was adequate. Um, at least I felt that way initially. Um, but what I found over time was even with washing the car, um, you know, once or twice a week, even as much as three times, like I said, um, what I was finding was that, um, you know, Behind that uh, front wheel, uh, definitely along the lower body panel, um, you know, behind the rear quarter there, or the rear wheel there. And I don't know what other people's cars do, but for some reason, this car seems like it creates a vortex at the back end and all of the dirt deposits itself along the face of the trunk and then, you know, along the, the bumper itself and then you know, obviously down along the uh, the lower part. Okay, what I found over time trying to do the uh, the touchless washes was that um, no matter uh, you know what you do, um, you know while it might get the the main dirt off and stuff like that, that road grime that you know ends up behind the tires and along the lower part of the body uh, just won't come off without actually touching the car. Um, so then you know what I did was I started. Um, you know, using these uh, these microfiber sponges and the great guards and you know all that other fun stuff. Even picked up a foam gun um, to use on the garden hose for the days that I didn't want to take out. Um, you know, the power washer and all that stuff. But uh, you know what I found with the foam gun and the foam cannon is you know the the, the biggest pain in the ass with them things is um, you know I tend to you know f rinse the car off completely with water. And then I'll foam one panel down and you know, use the sponge on it. Uh, and then I have to rinse the sponge off. I have to also rinse the car off. So you're constantly taking uh, either the foam gun off of the nozzle it came with, or you're taking the foam cannon off of the power washer nozzle and putting a nozzle, you know, the actual power washer nozzle back in the wand. Um, to be able to rinse it off, and that's just a royal pain in the ass. Um, so, you know, even over time, even trying to do that has become, you know, pretty monotonous. Um, I choose to, you know, if you watch online, you know, people talk about the, the two bucket method, the three bucket method, if you got a separate bucket for just your tires, um, you know, all that fun stuff. So what I ended up doing was, um, you know, like I said, I like to rinse the sponge off directly with the water source instead of having to dunk it into a bucket. Um, you know, I think you get more stuff off of the sponge by actually rinsing it with power, you know, with actual water versus just dunking it in a bucket with a great guard or whatever. Um, 
I've decided to kind of change my routine um, and I ended up buying a couple of new products that I'm going to actually try today and I'm going to hopefully um, actually show you uh, the use of some of those products. Okay, one of the first things I want to talk about how I'm going to be changing my, uh, my routine is um, I used to use uh, dedicated wheel cleaners um, to clean the, uh, the wheels. I was trying to, much like the rest of the car, I was trying to do a touchless wash on the wheels and I was using, um, you know, Iron X and, and some other products to, uh, you know, melt the uh, brake dust residue. And um, I don't know if the, if the wheel cleaners have anything to do with it or not, but when I was changing these wheels back to the, uh, the brass monkeys that are on there right now for the winter back in December, um, I noticed that around the hub on uh, all of the wheels was really seriously rusted. Um, I mean, this car sat on the dealer's lot from October of 2016 until May when I bought it. Um, so it sat through a winter on the dealer's lot. So, I mean, I don't know, That's, that rust could have happened from that. Um, but to try to eliminate as much as possible, I decided I'm no longer going to use, um, you know, that whole mentality of touchless on the wheels. Um, so again, uh, I will be using, um, you know, the wheel woolly there to, uh, to clean the barrel of the wheel. Um, I'll probably be using some combination of maybe the uh, spoke brush I did try to use that, uh, the Marlena wool thing that I had already talked about. Um, but what I'm going to be doing now is, um, went out and bought this little hand pressure, uh, uh, pressure washer, sprayer, whatever you want to call it. Um, this actually came from Adams. Um, so my new wheel routine will be to use that. Um, I'm probably going to try there. Uh, soap that I bought as well. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll use that forever, but I will be using the pressure washer to uh, be able to foam the wheels up, you know, directly. And then uh, I also bought a new, um, you know, detailing uh, sponge. It, you know, you can put your hand inside of it and uh, use it to, you know, the pitch, you know, I don't know if you can see the picture, but you can see you can use it to, uh, you know, be able to use your hand to actually clean the spokes and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, one of the things, I, I like the wheels on the car, um, but I can tell you they are a pain in the ass to keep clean, one, because of the brake dust, and two, just because of the design of the wheel. Um, you know, in the smaller areas of the spokes, it's just a pain in the ass. At this point, I'm stuck with the seven, seven spoke mesh, or whatever the hell this design is called. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to, you know, clean these things and, and make it easy and, and fairly fast. So. Like I said, I'm going to be using the pressure washer to use on just the wheels. Um, and then the other thing I got is, is this thing here. Um, you know, I saw this on uh, one of the professional detailer sites. Um, he highlighted this and, um, you know, I, I thought this was a pretty cool product. Um, so I'm going to try this today and see how this works. So basically, uh, you fill the canister with whatever soap you want to use. The, uh, the multi-function nozzle is built directly into the handle. Um, and so the way it works is there's actually a knob up top there and you can set this to be just water only um, so you don't have to take the canister off you don't have to you take this off the hose and use a different nozzle so you can turn it on just water to rinse the car off rinse the sponge off all that other stuff and then when you're ready to put you know soap back on the car you can actually turn that knob at the top to mix and it will actually mix soap from the canister with the water uh, because it is an adjustable nozzle, you get all the benefit of the different settings, so cone and center and fan and, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying to use this. Now, you know, the one thing to note is this is obviously not going to provide the degree of foam that uh, a foam cannon or a foam gun will. But if you wash your car as frequently as I do, and the only thing you really need to worry about is having some soap on the car... Uh, you know, for when you're doing the lower part of the car, you know, the lower panels and behind the wheels, which is where all the dirt, you know, collects that road grime. You know, as long as your car is not, you know, filthy, you know, that thing should be enough. Um, you know, obviously today I'll find out uh, if it will be enough or not. And of course the car is going to be getting ceramic coated soon. So I'm hoping with a combination of the ceramic coating and, you know, the fact that I do wash the car so frequently that this, you know, little thing will, will be enough. Um, 
I do still plan on using the uh, foam cannon itself occasionally, um, maybe once a month I'll pull out the pressure washer, set up the foam cannon and you know give it the full you know the full treatment. Um, but I think that you know for the, the, the in-between washes, I'm hoping that that, that new setup should be enough to uh, work without any problems. Let's see if I can show you how dirty these wheels are. Uh, they got about about 150 or so miles on them since the last time they were cleaned. All right, so you can definitely see, uh, you know, up in there, how dirty and the wheel actually is. Um, so I think this will be a good test of that sprayer um, to see how well it can get soap back inside the barrel, um, you know, on the face of the caliper and. You know, obviously the wheel woolies and stuff will be doing the, you know, the, the bulk of the work from the cleaning perspective. Um, but that other microfiber or triangle thing will be what I'm using to do the, uh, the spokes and the face of the wheel and that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how well that works out as well. Um, so I'll probably film that and then I'll probably film part of, uh, you know, the actual car wash, at least one or two panels, um, showing how this thing works. So... Um, this is actually a Harbor Freight thing, um, so if you have a local Harbor Freight, you can probably go pick one up. I actually bought mine off of Amazon. Um, I'm an Amazon Prime kind of guy, and uh, so I bought it off of Amazon. It's actually more expensive than if you went to Harbor Freight and bought it directly. That also came off of Amazon. That came; Those two products came directly from Adams, so uh, I'll put links to all that stuff. Okay, guys, I'm about to go out and wash the uh, front driver's side wheel. Um, I've already done the passenger side since it's in the shade. Figure it can stay wet a little bit longer without getting uh, dried out from the sun. Um, and doing it that way, I've actually already learned a couple of things about the Adams uh, little pressure sprayer. Um, it works great, except you have to uh, pull the trigger in short bursts. Um, if you hold the trigger down, it loses pressure pretty quick. And uh, as a result, the foam kind of dies out pretty quick. So um, definitely pumping it up quite frequent. Um, what I've been doing is spraying the tire, uh, cleaning the tire, uh, repumping the sprayer, spraying the drum, cleaning the drum, repumping the sprayer, and then spraying the face, and then cleaning the face. Um, so I'm going to go out, I'm actually wearing the glasses right now, so I'm hoping that I will remember to keep my head in such a position that the bridge of my nose is actually aimed towards what I'm actually looking at, so that you get a good video of this. Um, the other thing is I noticed uh, when I was doing the video yesterday that the uh, angle view um, the ang uh, Holy crap the viewing angle on these is pretty close So I'm hoping you know I got to get pretty close to the car to be able to actually clean the wheel So I'm hoping I'm not going to be so close to the car that you're not gonna be able to see anything So this is going to be an experiment. So hopefully everything will come out. All right. And here we go <laughs> As you can see, the, uh, the sprayer does make a pretty good amount of foam. Of course, I don't know whether that's the sprayer doing that or whether it's actually the Adam's soap or some combination thereof. Okay, I repumped the sprayer. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not, but when the valve starts to release, you know you've got it pretty full with pressure. The nice thing about this is you can actually get the nozzle inside the barrel there to get the spray in there. Hopefully, I got the, my head in a good position so that you're actually seeing this. Now, use the wheel woolly. Alright, that's good. Uh, I'm going to pump 
this up again. So you can see it does put on a, a fairly good amount of foam. Like I said, again, I don't know if it's the sprayer or actually the Adam soap. But out of everything so far, I think this triangle is actually the thing I like the most. Because it definitely gets you, allows you to get right in there and get this wheel really clean. So, and it's the perfect size to get in the small area of the mesh on this wheel. Again, I hope the camera angle isn't so messed up that you're not actually seeing what I'm seeing. You know, the nice thing with this is you can actually get your hand in there and actually clean the caliper to some degree. camera so you can see how clear or how clean this thing looks up close okay so as I mentioned this is now the Canon camera I figure I can get in much closer know exactly what the camera is seeing to show you how clean the wheel is so putting it at an angle so you can get the Sun in there to see so all in all I'm pretty happy with uh, with this process for cleaning the wheels um, I think that sprayer works uh, pretty good um, you know like I said you got to keep pumping it up and you gotta you know hit the sprayer in quick little bursts to get the foam to keep the pressure up inside the container to to get enough soap out um, but you can see this is what's left um, so that's what I have left in the bottle that's after three wheels um, there's definitely plenty in there to get you know all four wheels done and then some and uh, the real star of the show is definitely that uh, triangular microfiber um, wheel cleaner I don't know what the hell they call it I'll put links to all this stuff like I said earlier in the description but that thing is definitely the star of the show from the perspective of being able to get up inside the the spokes and and clean the surfaces down um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this new method for cleaning the wheels. Um, takes a little bit of time, but definitely uh, happy. Okay, guys, now on to washing the car with the uh, Harbor Freight uh, rinse. I mean the Harbor Freight sprayer. Um, so as you can see, hopefully you can see, I got soap using the same Adam soap in this thing. Uh, right now, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but I have it set to water. So, I'm using the jet setting to rinse the hood off. Hopefully, that's coming through on the video alright. Okay. So, I've already done the other side again because it's in the shade, so I did the other side already. Um, and what I have found is that jet seems to be the best for rinsing and center seems to be the best for applying the soap. So put it on center, twist the knob so that it's now on soap. <clears throat> and you can see, I mean it's definitely not foam cannon volume of soap, but it's soap nonetheless. Provides the, uh, you know, lubrication that people are concerned with when they wash their car so let me get this all saturated <clears throat> and then one of the things that uh, Dallas uh, auto correction the guy that uh, he's the professional detailer that I saw using this um, he actually sprays down his uh, washing 
thing as well. So I've been doing that for now. <laughs> That's done. Put it back on jet. Change it back to just water. And start rinsing. So, all in all, I am quite happy with this thing as well. I mean, it's doing pretty much exactly what they claim it'll do. Um, you know, again, it's not pressure washer type of volumes for the soap but it's enough to cover the car and you know provide the uh, lubrication you need on the paint so you mar it as little as possible when you're going over with your mitt or your microfiber sponge or whatever your tool of choice is for you know actually cleaning the surface uh, the thing I like about it is there's no disconnecting the uh, the foam cannon from the power washer nozzle. There's no disconnecting the foam gun from the garden hose. It's all right there. You foam it up or you soap it up. You wash it. You change the setting, and then you rinse. Pretty easy if you ask me. So hopefully. This video has been somewhat informative. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'll put links to all this stuff in the description. So if you're interested in buying them, um, you'll be able to check them out online. Um, but again, I think the star of the show is that triangle, micro, triangle microfiber thing for cleaning the wheels. Um, and then the uh, sprayer from Adams is... Uh, Definitely does a good job, and I think this thing from Harbor Freight does a good job too. So, thanks for watching.